Good morning from sunny blue skies Amsterdam. But don't be fooled, it is absolutely freezing out here. In this video, I'm gonna be taking you to a few of the famous street markets in Amsterdam. Gonna be trying loads of their local, popular, traditional food, Dutch and maybe some not Dutch as well, just famous and native to Amsterdam. And also today, I wanna to try one of the space cakes from the coffee shop because I go home today and I wanna take one before my flight and have a nice, pleasant, relaxing flight. They're normally between five and 10 euros, give or take, so I'm hoping that I can find one closer to five euros because don't really want to be spending a tenner on one cake, do you know what I mean? So here in front of me, we have the Bulldog Cafe, the most famous coffee shop in Amsterdam, and I'm pretty sure the biggest Bulldog they have in Amsterdam as well, so let's go and try and find a space cake for a reasonable price as well. So you've actually got the bar on this side, and then you've got the coffee shop on this side. This one sells, you know, coffee and other things, and uh, yeah, that one's just the bar that you can go into, so let's go. No space cakes. Coffee shop, get down. I've heard some good things about this place. Hopefully they've got some good, tasty space cakes for me. Let's have a little wander in, shall we? Okay. I'll pay maybe six or seven euros, but probably not any more than that, to be honest with you. Now that is what I'm looking for. Ooh, 750. Yeah, do you know what? I might have to do that. Hi, right, mate. Could I just get one of the space muffins, please? Lovely, thank you very much, mate. Cheers. So here we go. We've got our space muffin. <laughs> I'll certainly be blasting off to space later, hopefully, anyway. So here we have the huge, world-famous Heineken Brewery. I've never seen a brewery that size in my life. All the ones in England are probably half the size of that. Absolutely gargantuan. We're not gonna be going there, though. We're gonna be going to have some nice, tasty street food. So here we have the Albert Kuip, I think that's how you pronounce it, the Albert Kuip market, where they are selling some street food. We've got some clothes here. Five euros for gloves. Oh, I actually do need some gloves. Nah, I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna firm it. I'm only here for one day anyway. Got some electronics there. Got some, uh, <laughs> got some funky teddies. Oh, what have you got here? Oh, we've got the fresh herring. So you've got the pickles there, got the onions there, got the bread rolls there. Oh, we've got some, got some clog magnets and key rings. Lovely stuff and some tulips, nice and traditional, love it. Um, just looking for the food though, really. Not many food stalls open, to be honest. Ah, it's quite a long street though goes right down there. So uh, yeah, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll find somewhere. The one thing about Amsterdam as well is they sell cheese absolutely everywhere. So we've got loads and loads of cheese here. Genuinely, there's about, I'd say every five minutes you walk down a street, massive cheese shot. And not even just a small one either, like an absolutely massive one. Oh, we got some fresh produce here. Some nice fresh fruit. Lovely stuff. Oh, fresh strawberries, they look juicy, mate. They look juicy. I would try some, but I want something a bit more, a bit more filling, you know what I mean? Not just fruit, I want some, I want some proper grub, do you know what I mean? We've got some nice fresh fish here. It's freezing here as well, so you know it's gonna be extra fresh. Shame that he's not cooking any of that because I would slap some of that right now. Got some more here. Big old lobster there as well. Got some crab's claws. What I assume is herring as well. Loads and loads of fresh fish. Yeah. Mate, to be honest, I don't even think you need the ice. It's that cold out here that you probably don't even need the ice and it would stay fresh. Lots more fish there as well. Mate, why are they not cooking any of it? So here we have a stall full of nuts. Oh, big bag of nuts going straight in my basket. Who remembers that? <laughs> anyway, they've got a deal on 200 grams of cashews for three euros 50. Now, if there's no pistachios here, I might have to take up that deal because I do love pistachios, but I can't see them anywhere. So I think I am gonna go for the cashews, actually. Hello, you're right, mate. Can I just get uh, 200 grams of the cashew nuts, please? Yeah, would you please? like it salty or no salty? Uh, salty, salty, please. Yes, yeah. you will. Gotta be salty, innit? Just innit? them, so they're still warm, so we need to make a little bit of opening there. Here you go, bro. Lovely, perfect, thank you very much. 
Oh, so I got me cashews. Oh, they're warm as well. Lovely stuff. I'm literally using this bag of cashews as a hand warmer. Let's try some of these roasted salted cashews, yeah? Mmm. Oh my God, best cashews I've had in my life. Easily. I've also never had them warm before. They've only ever been cold, so nice little addition as well. Three euros 50 for this entire bag as well. That's a great deal. Big up to my guy. So here we have Benny's chicken. It says that this is the best chicken in town. Let's see if that's true. There we are. Best chicken in town. Let's have a look what they've got. Got some chicken hot dogs right there. Got some chicken bites. Teriyaki chicken, hot wings. I think I'm gonna go for the teriyaki chicken, you know. That looks absolutely ridiculous. Hello, uh, one teriyaki chicken, please. Thank you, thank you very much. Let's take a seat here and try this teriyaki chicken, shall we? Lovely. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers, thank you. Rice. Let's give these a go, shall we? So here we have it, the teriyaki chicken skewers. So we've got the spring onions on top. We've got the crispy onions as well. I don't usually like crispy onions, but I feel like they might go well with this, to be honest. And of course, the teriyaki sauce on top. Best chicken in town? Let's have a look. Mmm, that sauce, oh my God. That chicken tastes so fresh as well, so juicy, perfectly cooked. I like it when you have the little, the little char grilled bits on the side. I like everything crispy most of the time, to be honest. <laughs> Can't be having just sloppy food, you know what I mean? It's got to be nice and crispy and tough. Very delicious. 6 95 as well. I feel like that's a very, very fair price. You do get free skewers and they are massive, to be fair. <sighs> well, that was absolutely delicious, honestly. Thank you very much. Absolutely delicious, thank you. Absolutely lovely, thank you very much. Nice one. So next up on our list is the original Stroop waffles. Now these are insanely famous and popular in Amsterdam. I mean, look at the queue. That's how you know that it's banging, warm and fresh, rather than the ones you buy in the shop and they're just cold and they're just, you know what I mean? Better to get the fresh, fresh from the source, from the originators as well, love it. All right, mate, just uh, one original Stroop waffle, please. Uh, thank you very much, cheers, thank you. 250 for a Stroop waffle, decent price. I, I, I love that, man. Yeah. We've got the Stroop waffle making machine here. The guys are doing their magic. This is the magic. Shark. This is the magic. This is the magic. <laughs> we put them here and then we put them here inside. Lovely. You see it here. This goes and then it comes out. Of we slice this exactly into parts. That's the difficult part. You see it. Very very hot. One and two. And on this side we put the syrup between. Other side goes on top, so it's very, very hot. Thank you very much. See you, no, Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, I will enjoy. I will enjoy very much. First ever time trying original Dutch Stroopwafel. Fresh as anything. You saw how it was made. Lovely stuff. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Nah, seriously, that is something else. Oh my word. The melted caramel inside, the fresh waffle. Mate, this is literally incredible. One of the best sweet treats I've ever had in my life, genuinely. For only two euros 50 as well. That's so reasonable. Honestly, they should charge more. Incredible stuff. So right here, we've got an array of football shirts. Definitely real. Not fake, definitely real. That's why they're selling them for a tenner each, 100%. Any, uh, any Arsenal shirts? I want some Arsenal shirts. Right, so I've just bumped into this. We've got Dara's coffee roasters. I'm not really feeling the coffee, but I could do with the tea. I'm gonna go for the Sahara tea, I reckon. Hello, you're right, mate. Can I just get one of the Sahara teas, please? Sahara tea? Uh, small, please. Is it is it Turkish coffee you're making yeah. there? Yeah, 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 I thought so, yeah. It's Turkish coffee in Arabic. It's like hot sands, and that's what heats the liquid up, rather than just conventionally doing it with hot water or boiling it on a fire. This is just uh, hot sands. Nice, proper authentic. But here we get it hot from electric warming in Sahara, and the people keep it up from sun. Nice. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. That's okay. Thank you. So right next to the coffee stall, we've got a lovely little seating area here. So I'm going to sit down here and try my Saharan tea. I didn't put any sugar or milk in it because, well, I'm trying not to have as much sugar recently, even though I just had the Stroop waffle, but we won't talk about that. Mmm, <laughs> wow. So much flavor, not watery at all. You know when you get your rubbish PG tips and all that, yeah? Just such watery rubbish. This is like proper tea. Mmm. Oh, that is warming me up so much. Mmm. It almost tastes slightly uh, sort of herbal and, and minty almost. Not quite minty, but sort of fragrant. It's like, it's like saffron or something that you put in some rice or something like that. It's, uh, yeah, tasty. Nice one, man. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Nice one. Wow, that has just warmed me up like nothing else could. I'm ready to go now, I'm raring. My hands have got life back in them again. Right, so all over Amsterdam, not just in the markets, they've got these little stalls and little shops where they just sell fries. All right, mate, can I just get uh, the small size, please? Sure. Thank you. Oh, nice one. So also here we've got some crocket, which is like a deep fried battered beef. Uh, we've got a mixed meat sausage there. We've got some deep fried sort of, I don't know, cheese parcels, I suppose. Uh, and then we've got some meatballs there as well. And uh, some other ones at the back there that I'm pretty sure are just deep fried meatballs as well. You got, mate. Lovely. Thanks so much, Thank mate. You. Thank Enjoy. you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Now at this point, you're probably thinking you're just buying food to warm your hands up, and yeah, you're, you're probably right, actually. So this place has actually been running since 1959, so you know that these are going to be banging. Let's go for this big jumbo one first. There's loads of pigeons crowding around me. They know that I'm going to drop some scraps for them. Mmm. Wow. Oh my God, they are so good. They just remind me of really, really well done fish and chip shop chips. Ah, it's like a little taste of home, but in Amsterdam. Mmm, wow, man. I didn't bother getting any sauce because I feel like if the chips are good enough, they don't need sauce. Just a bit of salt will do. And I was right. These are absolutely incredible. Come on, then. Look, look, look. I've summoned him. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, mate. Thank you. Cheers. Have a good day, mate. Thank you. I don't really know why anybody would buy these products from the market stores because there's not actually any of the ingredient that you need. So why would you not just go to the coffee shops and actually get it in there? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. I understand in countries where it's not legal, because I've seen that a lot. You know, there's lollipops and all that rubbish, but in Amsterdam, you're just, yeah, tourist trap, I suppose, for people that don't know. So I'm sure that you're all tired of me moaning about the cold. So I think I'm gonna take some proactive action and actually go and buy a pair of gloves because honestly, my hands and fingers are just frozen solid whilst recording or not whilst recording. It's absolutely ridiculous, honestly. So cold here. Right, so going back to the first stall that I saw, five euros for a pair of gloves. You know what? You can't go wrong. That's fair enough. Oh, and these ones have even got the mobile touch option. Nice and fluffy. Yeah, I think I'll take these ones. Hi, you're right. Uh, just these ones, please. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Cheers, thank you. Lovely stuff, best purchase of the day. Right, so we've got the gloves on, lovely and warm. To be honest, probably one of the best fivers I've ever spent in my entire life. Like, night and day difference. It's just brightened up my mood, to be honest with you. Amsterdam, you've been amazing. Until next time, like and subscribe. More travel videos on the way in the next week or two. Let's go.